Today we will be taking a look ahead at round 2. 14 guns have played, 7 have advanced, 7 have been eliminated, and 32 guns remain. It's time for the top 10 plays from round 1. Hope you enjoy. At number 10, we have the number 34 seated S12. Sometimes, when you're pinned in, you need a perfect flashbang, a heave of a C4, and a kill from the S12 can get you out of almost any situation. At number 9 on the countdown, we have the number 35, TAC 45. When you run out of ammo and you're not allowed to pick up another gun, patience in a smokescreen equals merciless. At number 8, we have the number 30 seated, 5-7. When the 5-7 gets a triple and a kill on the side, Exalted decides to show his hand, and we see four of a kind. At number 7 on the countdown, we have the number 39 seated combat knife. On first down, you juke left and then stiff arm the defender. But on second down, you might not throw for a Hail Mary, but with enough time in the pocket, you can easily throw for a first down. At number 6, we have the number 31 seated XBR 50. After not being impressed with its first double kill, it decides to be more efficient on the second and get two kills with one shot. UAV on standby. UAV inbound. Storm missile awaiting orders. At number 5, we have the number 36 Executioner. The Executioner has no range, but luckily, the Hunter Killer does. At number 4, the TAC 45 returns to the countdown. When the 5-7 and attack 45 are all tied up, sometimes one bullet will put you over the top. Coming in at number 3, we have the number 29 seated Peacekeeper. Sometimes even the rare baby dolphin dive will help you get the victory. Never a doubt, good job. At number 2, the TAC-45 returns one last time. You can tell the TAC-45 is mad because it is fury. Is. At number 1, in the winner of the first round countdown, we have the number 39 Combat Knife. It may have joined in a game late, it might not be technically a gun, but it's eager to prove that it belongs in the Gun Madness Tournament. 
Alrighty guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed round one of the top 10. And it was a very interesting experience for me doing this because of all the funny descriptions I wrote below. I just kept ruining all of my takes at how cheesy some of the things I said. And I was trying to keep a really serious voice, really monotone voice. And so I ended up ruining a ton of takes because of it. So hopefully y'all did enjoy that. And now if you want, you can pause the video, take a look at the bracket, comment below what gun you're rooting for what gun you think is gonna win you know you can give me every prediction for every game if you want i don't care let's discuss it i am down to because i have a blast doing this but now it's time to look ahead now we are going to look at game one of round two and that is the msmc versus the vector now when i originally started a tournament me and the vector were on very bad terms but now me and the vector get along great and it could take over the msmc but the msmc is a number one seeded for a reason and that is because it has the capability of hitting the big time score streaks. Now, sometimes I like to rock the medium score streaks because then if I die, I can still get like maybe three cycles of them. So it's gonna be interesting to see which style I end up going with with the MSMC. And the MSMC is kind of the, um, the girl you date in high school. And then you go off to college and you meet this new girl, but then the summer comes and you see your old girlfriend from high school and you're like, hmm, you know, I remember why I liked you so much, but there's just something different. And that something different was the nerfs. It wasn't enough to make me not make it to number one seed, but it's enough to bother me a lot. And, but the new girl you met at college is in the next game. And in the next game, we have the MP7. And now with the MP7, I think this gun is going to go absolutely insane. It's going to break records from all the other guns. I'm, I'm predicting a... 30 and one game with this gun maybe a i don't know plus 30 probably is what i'm thinking maybe one death it's going to be absolutely fun because i've just been absolutely on a tear with this gun lately and unfortunately for the cat 40 i don't think it has a chance against that gun all right the next matchup i want to take a look at is the number two a94 versus the number 34 s12 the footage we're seeing here is of me getting two dogs and two swarms and one life on domination. Now on domination, I have capture points whenever I'm capturing something or getting a kill while capturing something. And that adds up and helps me get my swarm and stuff faster. And deathmatch, you obviously don't have that. And I do believe I can still reach any score streak in deathmatch with the A94 once. And this gun did get nerfed recently, but I still believe it contends as top dog. I think Trevor did a great job making this as the last gun that you unlock. But the one thing you will not see me be doing with this gun is using a suppressor. I do not like it with a suppressor, so you won't see me be running around with flat jacket and ghosts trying to sneak around and kill guys off the radar. I will be going loud with this gun and trying to make a splash with it, and it could go all the way. We'll have to wait and see. And while this footage is still rolling, I want to talk about another thing I'm going to be adding in throughout the rest of this gun madness. And I've been doing a little bit of a restructure of how I want this to be shown, and I will be adding in a skit or commercial in between the two gun madness games to make it feel like it's more like a sporting event almost in a way. That's kind of the film I'm going for, but I'm going to go for more of a comedic. I feel like my channel hasn't been funny enough yet. Uh, it's a little bit too serious for me, and I'm going to be trying to add that in as well. I don't know if I'm going to add it in every episode, because we are kind of in a time crunch trying to get all this up before Call of Duty Ghost comes out. So hopefully you will like what I have in store in the next episode for it. But let's just go ahead and take a look at the next matchup. Now let's show some love to a light machine gun. And that light machine gun is going to be the number 4 LSAT versus number 29 Peacekeeper. The LSAT has helped me get my Chain Killer, Ultra Killer, and mega killer along with 94 gun kills in a single game on headquarters and let's also not forget that that ultra kill i got was in team deathmatch so this gun has insane potential and could be a blowout but i don't think it's going to be i think it's going to be an insanely close game because the peacekeeper absolutely dominated last round with the highest score from any gun in round one 
the last matchup I want to take an in-depth look at is number 13, Fail, versus number 20, SVU. And that's because they are very similar, yet they're in different classes. One of them's a sniper, one of them's a saw rifle, but they're both a single shot gun, and they are very accurate at long range. Personally, if I could have any gun at long range to take out anybody, I would want the fail. I love the fail at long range, and it's going to be a great matchup. This one, I'm not going to have a lot of deaths in it, I believe. I think a total between the two guns, probably six deaths. And that's just because of the playstyle I'm going to be having to use with them. And with the SVU, this was actually my first sniper I ever got gold. And a lot of people like to go in hardcore team deathmatch and get the one shot, one kills that way. But I wanted the challenge of getting it in normal team deathmatch and I had a blast doing it. A brief overview on some of the last games that I'm looking forward to would have to be the M881 versus the MTAR. I've really grown in, into the MTAR since I've made this rankings list. It probably should deserve to be a little bit higher. Another one would have to be the Hammer versus the MK48 game. Battle of the Light Machine Guns is going to be a very similar playstyle for both guns and will probably end up being a very close game. And then we have the Type 25 and the Assault Shield, and I'm so bummed that the right shield has to go up against the Type 25 because I believe that is one of the most underrated guns in the game right now. And the right shield, I can do some work with it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do enough to overcome the Type 25. And the game I'm most looking forward to playing is the Combat Knife versus the Ballistic Knife. That's going to be such a fun game for me. That's going to be my number one game to look forward to for round two. And one other thing that I forgot to mention earlier is at the end of every episode, I will be adding in a top play or a top fail. Whichever one is more epic will be the finishing result. And sorry I didn't have any third person views either in my top ten today. The footage is kind of old and I couldn't find it in theater, so unfortunately I wasn't able to do that. But for round three, whenever that rolls around, I will probably be able to do it then. And as you can see, the text on screen now, the names in red have been eliminated. The names in white have moved on to the next round, which it sucks for the execution of 5-7 because they both posted top five scores, but they will not be going on to the next round. So we chunk up the deuces to them two, the crossbow, the XBR-50, the LSW, the SMR, and the small. And to wrap up this episode, some of my dark horses that can contend to be the Gun Madness Champion that are not in the top 10 seated are the MTAR, the Fail, the Peacekeeper, M27, TAC45, and y'all may not believe the last one, but the Ballistic Knives. Now hopefully by the end of this episode, I will have my 40th subscriber. So if you're wanting to see the ending result of this series and you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe now. I'll be putting up some Minecraft videos in the future as well. I've been slacking on that lately. I'm sorry guys, I've been focusing on this series. And go ahead and give me a like rating. The likes go a long way with me. That helps fuel me for the next episode to keep grinding it out while editing. And if y'all have any questions any predictions go ahead and comment below you know i'm gonna hit you back up same thing with twitter at seal of gaming one word all that fun stuff and y'all have a beautiful beautiful day deuces